Hi, it's Destroy X from Angel Spit here. We've had a lot of questions from people who are really into analog synths and they want to get into modulars. So I decided to do a little segment to talk about using the dark energy, which is a really cool little standalone synth, which kind of bridges the gap between synths and modulars. And with a little bit of simple patching, you can make it sound really great. I've put the demo together really quickly. I haven't added any EQ or compression, so this is really what it sounds like. Okay, that's enough talk. Let's turn it on, patch it in, and rock. This is the glitch bass sound. Little bit of pitch, little bit of velocity. Since the MIDI note information and note on off is internally patched to the oscillator and gate, I only need to patch the CV3, that is the velocity, into the filter. So basically, the greater the velocity, the more the filter opens up. And if you look at the sequence, you can see the notes and velocities. The velocities are actually changing the filter. And this is the kick drum. This one only uses a little bit of velocity. Once again, I'm patching the CV3 velocity into the filter. So again, the greater the velocity, the more the filter opens up. This should really give it some life and thump. I really like the subs in the synth. With a little bit of tweaking, you can really make it sound like an 808. And remember with your kick drum, fast attack, fast decay, lots of thump. And this is the snare sound with just a little bit of velocity. Uh, sounds very craft work to me. Okay, so I'm patching the CV3, um, that is the velocity, into the filter. Listen to how the very quiet velocities have such a different sound to the louder velocities. I love this filter. This gives a great dynamic. And this is the funky bass. Lots of pitch bend, lots of velocity. Very awesome. All right, so now we're gonna do something a little different with this one. I'm gonna patch the CV2, that is the pitch bend, into the VCOF, that is the oscillator. This will make the MIDI pitch bend information drive the oscillator. And as usual, I've patched the CV3, the velocity, into the filter. This will give the bass some color. And this is the bleep sound. Again, just a little bit of pitch bend and velocity and a bit of random. The filter can also be modulated by the LFO number two. Okay, now we're going to play with the external audio in. So we're going to patch a drum sample into it and uh, with some 16th note craziness um, and we'll probably mess around with the velocity again. The external audio is routed into this synth mix with the oscillator. So I'll get the oscillator in the sound as well. So it's going to sound a little bit random but cool. I'm only using MIDI notes so there's no pitch bending. I'll patch the CV3, that is the velocity output, into the filter. Notice the random velocity amounts on the sequencer. I'm going to modulate the oscillator with some envelope to contour the pitch shape. And now I'm going to add some psycho fast LFO to the filter to really brighten it up. If you speed up the LFO too, you can get some really cool results. So I hope you picked up some techniques. We'd love to hear what you come up with. So join our forum or comment and um, yeah, have fun with your modular.